Hello there, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me. So have you ever wanted to print out a listing of your layers? Have you ever wanted to do that? You know, I don't know, maybe you wanted to share your layer names and the settings properties with somebody else. Maybe you were working on standards, but you wanted to print out that layer listing. Or maybe you wanted to take your layers and send them out to Excel so you could do something with them. Or maybe you wanted to bring them into Word. Whatever the situation is, it's not intuitively obvious how to do that from AutoCAD, but I promise you it can be done and I'm gonna share that with you, okay? So let's go into the layer manager. Here's a listing of all my layers. Now I would like to take all of these layers and I wanna send them out to Excel. So the first thing I need to do is I need to highlight all these layers. Now I can do a right click and I can say select all or you can do a control A, whichever is easier for you. And you'd think maybe I could just copy these, right click, oh, there's no copy in the menu. Okay, but that doesn't mean that you can't do it though. All right, doesn't mean that you can't do it. So I'm gonna come back out here and I'm gonna say Control C for copy. So it does actually copy, just so you know, it does actually copy, but who would know? <laughs> it doesn't make that very obvious, right? All right, so now let's jump into Excel. And now how do I paste? You can do a right click paste or you can say control V and you'll see that it does in fact bring all of your layers and the settings, all the properties into Excel and then you can do with them as you want. Now, if you want to, you could, before you do this, maybe you might want to get rid of the status column or, or hide any of the columns that you don't want taken into Excel. Or of course you can do that here, right? For example, I'm sure you don't want status on there. You could come in there and you can easily hide that column. So. But once you get them into Excel, there's all kinds of things you can do, right? Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Let's go back into AutoCAD. Here's another way of doing it. Now this method will not work for Excel, but you can go into the command line interface of the layer command, and you do that by putting a dash in front of the command. I don't know if you know that, but if you put a dash in front of any AutoCAD command, it will give you the command line interface for it, which kind of comes in handy. You programmers know all about that. So I want a listing of all of my layers. And once again, you could pretty much pick which layers you were interested in, but I'm gonna say, I wanna do a question mark. I wanna do a listing, that's what the question mark does. And then it says, enter layer names to list. Now some of you remember the old DOS days and you know your wildcards, an asterisk means all of them. Okay, so if you ever see that in AutoCAD, that asterisk means everything or all. I'm gonna go ahead and hit an enter, and you'll see that AutoCAD will in fact give me a listing of all of my layers. Once again, you can see the properties for all those layers. Now you can go ahead and you can grab these and you can highlight them. You know, once again, you can do a right click and you can copy. You can take it into Word. I mean, you can take it into Excel, but I can tell you it won't bring them in as columns. So you're probably, more, you're probably better off taking them into Word. But it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and uh, I've had a lot of emails on this lately so I thought that I would share this tip with you. So give it a try. I hope that this tip was valuable to you and I also hope that I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. Once again this is Lynn Allen and thank you so much for joining me.